go to www.youtube.com slash Stevie Weeby for weekly uploads. She could get it, she could get it, and 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 she could get it. You sing the song and I'm the demon. When there's lightning, <laughs> you know it always brings me down. Now, 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 now. Scissor Brothers! Everybody's got their problems Everybody says the same thing to you It's just a matter how you saw them It's a matter what you do Part of me won't agree Cause I don't know if it's for sure Suddenly, suddenly I don't feel so insecure You got a melodica over there? Yeah, brother. Hey. It's good seeing you. Good seeing you, man. Some life events just occurred to you. They sure did. I want to talk all about it. Oh, you do? Welcome back to another episode of Scissor Bros, Ooh. the family channel, because we have some family matters we're going to discuss. Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah <laughs> is a father to another healthy boy, everyone. Ryan? Huh, what? I want to hear all about it. About it. How you well, feeling? Well, what do you want to know, my friend? When uh, just going to the hospital, the way you felt when the baby was coming out, and you know all that good stuff. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. First off, it is good to see it's you, good my to friend. See you too, brother. You got a sparkling, bright energy yeah. about you today. Really? Yeah. Does my Does my neck look okay? Your neck? Yeah. <laughs> You've really been concerned about it lately, haven't you? You know what I realize? Everybody has the little, their little uh, fat rolls here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not not a big deal. Back to you though, huh? Because this is small potatoes over here. You're a father again. I am. And he, boy, does times two. He has your eyes. I was looking at his eyes, and I'm like, I think I think you. The new one has your eyes. Sorry. Oh, uh, what is going on? That's completely unprofessional. Sorry. Who was that? It was a scam call. But I turned mine. Well, you should have. You should have answered have it silenced. and then put it on speakerphone. Mm. So how are you feeling, brother? Congratulations. My apologies, guys. Yeah. I forgot to silence the phone. Um, but let me text them back real quick. Would you call them back? No, it'll be it'll be like a an automated. Oh, I'm sorry. This number. How do you know it's a scam? Service. It says scam likely on my caller ID. Oh, yeah. What's back in there? Copenhagen straight. Get yours today. Um, how are you feeling, man? I'm feeling pretty You're good. Like, okay. Um, he's a little over a week old now, mm -hmm. which is already crazy. Yeah. I feel like we got through. Uh, you know, there's different levels, but the the first week, just getting through that first hump, feels good to be on the other side of it. Is this the most difficult week? It's pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult. But it's it, there's awesome stuff that's going on. Like it's not me complaining. It's just like, you know. How much sleep are you getting? Um, some nights it was just like a few hours. Mm -hmm. Um, but then I would like take naps and stuff like that. Yeah. Today I'm on like four or five hours of sleep, so I'm doing okay. That's not bad. It's not. Yeah, it's not horrible. Yeah. Yeah. How's Wilder t handling it as the older brother? He has been jealous. Really? Freaking. So that's a real thing. Jealous. For real? Oh, dude. Yeah. That's a yeah. real thing. Uh-huh. Because that could continue into adulthood. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to work on curbing it and stuff like that. 
Jones. I mean, well, yeah, <laughs> all of, right. yeah, dude, that's, that's, the, yeah. that's the scary thing about being a parent is like, yeah, the sibling you, rivalry. you can cause emotional damage and yeah, it'll go into their adult lives. Yeah. That's a big thing that happens. Cause you know what Bob did to me when I was, we were growing up when I was in sixth grade, right? Mm. He, he had chicken pox. He squeezed his chicken pox juice onto my pillow casing and my, and my comforter. Did he, you, did he you get purposely, it? He purposely gave me chicken pox. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay, I'll do you one. Um, well, my, you, you have a story. I have a chicken pox you, story. Better than that one? Mm, it's just different. Go ahead. Uh, my brother didn't squeeze his ooze onto me, but my mom, one, uh, my brother got chicken pox. She made me and my sister play with my brother so we would get it. So we just get it all in one Whoa. One swoop. Go play with your brother. When he had the sores and oh, the, yeah. whole, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we were all, then we all got it and we were all itching at the same time, but she wanted to just knock it out rather than stagger it. So she's like, yeah, just go play with your brother. But that wasn't your brother that, and sister. That's old school mentality. I feel like like parents might not do that these days, but I actually, like, I would go vote get for COVID. It. Just get it, knock <laughs> go it out. Go into your brother's room. Just knock it out. In there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's old school. I think so. Now there'd be a protest, like your kids would probably take it to court or something. Yeah, over yeah, yeah. That. yeah, yeah. But that, that, but that. Do you think that's normal though for siblings to do that to the younger sibling? Uh yeah. I mean, my brother and I used to do horrible stuff to each other all the time. So go going back to your eldest son. So what are some dead giveaways? Is he crying about it or what's going on? Yeah, he's been harder to put to bed at night because he has FOMO because fear of missing out. Uh, because he thinks that when we take the baby in the other room that we're having a party in there with Adam or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so, uh, he knows that's his brother. <laughs> yes. He's consciously aware of that. Yeah. He's, we talked him through Why are you it laughing, enough. Ryan? We talked him through it enough. He knew that there's a baby in my wife's belly along the way that we, you know, we told him that's your brother in there. Yeah. And then when he came out, like. Was he petting his head and. Doing the whole thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, those pictures you posted on your um, social media were just, you know, they just felt good, like those family pictures. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then Maya, like, she got emotional afterwards. Yeah. I mean, she, she you know, she probably f- felt a sense of relief that... Oh, I, I mean... I can't even imagine carrying something in my tummy for like nine months and yeah. giving birth to... Yeah. So that's just a huge sense of relief. I mean, yeah. what's the longest thing you've carried inside of you for like, like just a, a big shit how long was that um it's been i don't want to change like you just had your son i don't want to direct it towards shit hey steve this is scissor uh, bros i know but we're a family podcast I'm trying to have and, respect towards your parenting and and we're walking going we're, through, we're walking it. both ways of life brother yeah. this is scissor bros um yeah, have you been constipated for no, a long no, time? No, 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 but I've been, um, what's been going on is I've been storing more of... Fat? No, shit. Oh. Where I'll eat a big meal and I'll just lay down. I usually am more active, like I'm walking around the neighborhood, but I notice that when I do shit, it's one huge shit, and mm. it's like mountains of, it just piles. It's like, I'm like, whoa, there's a mountain down there, like... It's mostly cereal. I've been on a kind of like a cereal binge. What are you laughing at, Ryan? There's a freaking fruit fly that's in here, dude. And it's just buzzing around. It's probably attracted to the the fructose in my uh, sweat pores. What kind of cereal have you been eating? Um, I like how we went from, because I wanted to make it more of a family-oriented podcast because you just had your second son. But if you want to talk about cereals, that's okay. Um, I've... We can talk about whatever we want to know, talk about. But this is the thing. So there's a Kellogg's. Um, they have a, a cereal with like um, um, freeze-dried strawberries in it. It's kind of like cornflakes with uh, strawberries in it. And I'm so, familiar. You, have you had it? Yeah. Dude, it's so good. It's great. So I get the generic version of that by Kroger. Hashtag frugal bros. Two ninety nine. Yeah, baby. And so and then cereal's uh, gotten way more expensive, by the way. Yeah. Have you ever had honey um, bunches of oats? Oh, and I love it. I, I haven't had it in a while. love it. So uh, those are the two boxes that I bought. So you get on brand for the honey bunches of oats. Almost. Yeah, I go on brand. Kellogg's. You kind of have or, to yeah, on I go. certain stuff. Yeah, got to yeah, yeah. go. Man, how good is cereal? It's the best. <laughs> I love cereal. 
I feel like when I'm eating it now, like, is this like, am I cheating the I, system? Is I it a meal or I, is it dessert? I would invite you on, uh, I do this show on IG Live every uh, yeah. once in a while called Eating Breakfast with Jeremiah. Well, I would invite you on it sometime, but- I'm probably you're, sleeping. Yeah, you're sleeping. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What are your favorites, go-tos? Oh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is, is oh, goaded. You go, oh, that's like a horchata. It's goaded. Bread. Yeah, that's like horchata flavor. I freaking love it, dude. You know, that's on sale right now. Should I get it? today stock up yeah and you know how i'm lactose intolerant so i get um lactose free milk do you yeah so mm. i get that now but the the thing that you know, i'm gonna get off the the shit um so i told you about that but i i'm binging more on there's a collab right now oh chips ahoy has collab with reese's pieces reese's pieces have you had that cookie man that fusion I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, I'm addicted to it. It's Reese's and what? And Chips Ahoy. They just collided. What? And formed this. Yeah, and they formed a cookie, man. And it, dude, I I was, I got the last pack last night. Dude, it's a it's a hit. Have you had it, Ryan? No. Chips Ahoy and Reese's. Is it like dude, cookie? Dude, it crisp? is so good. It's a the, cereal or a cookie? It's a cookie, but that's all I've been eating. I haven't even eaten meals. Oh. What? Yeah, I've just been eating cookies and cereal. <laughs> That's why I asked you. Do I look? Do I look like I put on weight? Sometimes I feel like you need a chaperone. What do you mean, like as far as, um, like my diet or whatever? Just like if you've only been eating that, and you know, I can't, I can't really, I don't know how to cook, so yeah, you know well, what I you mean. You know how to make spaghettios and stuff. Well, that's not really cooking. What was well, that first you meal you you gave Maya? There's some people who got a little upset about me for that. Do we, here's the thing. Can I give you the backstory on that? Wait, wait, sure. Give us me some context. I don't know what you guys are doing right now. So, okay. I posted a photo of one of the first uh, meals that I prepared for uh, for my wife on, on social media. After um, the baby? Yeah, yeah. And we did not go grocery shopping. I just didn't plan it. Accordingly, so it was one of those things where th I was getting stuff out of the fridge that was fresh and that I thought would taste remotely good. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed some salmon. There's a fresh pack of salmon from like Trader Joe's or something like that. Uh, and then I grabbed st string cheese and I put them on crackers and we had that for breakfast. Oh, gross. <laughs> Oh man, what are you doing, man? I'm sorry. String so I... cheese and salmon? It was really good. Dude, that's so disgusting, brother. Dude, you're one of the most disgusting people <laughs> I've ever met in my life, and you're Dude, gonna judge I'm... me on that? Oh yeah. You right. just talked about your mountains of poop, and then I, you're right, you're judging right, me right. on my salmon Dude, crackers. Dude, I would not eat salmon and string cheese. What? You gotta try it. No, 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 no. Why no. not? That's your thing. I think I don't want it to be my Is thing. That, I think that's a white Was it person. the string cheese from? You think it's a white, white person, person thing? <laughs> that's a white. You think person. so? I think so. It was man. Sargento's string cheese. Yeah, from the from Ian's challenge. Hashtag frugal bros. <laughs> Guys, I Do you, uh, well, I don't throw away the leftover. Like I still have Cheerios <laughs> inside my house. You put it in Tupperware or something? What? I didn't repackage the Cheerios, but the rest of it, I don't want to waste it. So you don't waste a single drop, do you? Or a single cereal piece? I like that about you. Well, we we I mean we're kind of wasteful when we did the 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 Cheerio challenge because we're not really eating all those right, Cheerios. Right, right, right. But it was right. for a bit, so I, yeah. I feel okay doing that. Have you eaten raw Cheerios just without the honey? Yeah, but no. that, I can eat cinnamon toast crunch in the raw, but like Cheerios in the raw, mm, there's just certain cereals that I don't like eat eat raw, you know? But Cheerios raw is the best to give kids, right? Yeah, that is... Uncle Stevie, that's a good one, man. Yeah. Right? Do you want to watch my kid? As, as far as dry food, like safe dry that's food. That's a good one. That is a good one. Right? Yeah, and it doesn't make too much of a mess. You can yeah, travel with it. Exactly. No, it's yeah, exactly. It's a fail safe. Uh -huh. Good call. Oh, you haven't done that yet? No, we haven't really packed them too many. Try like, it out. All right. I'll think of you when I do it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I would be a horrible parent, but we were, we have talked about these talking points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, dude, this fly is really, I mean, I'm sorry. Hey, if you could say anything to the fly that's in here, what would you say? I would say. Like if you... it could hear you. If that say, fly could hear you, what would you say? I would say? say, can you please just fly to the corner of the room and until we're done, then we'll let you free. Then we'll let you go free. But did you see that? Um, 
Yeah, sorry about Oh, you got something for us? song brother i noticed you went a little crazy but i'm not when i said one line of that song i'm not gay though okay that's a thing i you know yeah i love my girl so anyway um, um my, yeah i love my girl and I'll, i love my girl okay i love my girl so it's been cool having a baby um you don't this doesn't have to be a defense I know, I know, I know. But I get it a lot on social media too. You what? I get it a lot on social media. Oh. Come out of the closet, bro. I'm like, oh. <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, just do come it, on, man. Just do it, man. Come on, dude. Yeah. Come but, on. But you know what's a you know what was a kind of revealing when Jason said, "Hey, mate, how gay how gay do you get, mate? Remember that." You ever suck dick, mate? And then that shut me down immediately. Because sure. that's a good indicator. Sure did, man. It shut it shut it down. Sure I'm did. Like, no, I've never sucked cock, bro. Yeah. Um, you know? Right, right? So, I mean, are you going to? Oh, Jesus. This guy. The game changer. You know, he's been kind of, he's been uh, more confident lately, dude, hasn't he? Dude, he? he came in this hot. Guy, he, he came, came in, in hot, hot today. Dude. I, we, haven't, about we haven't seen each other in a couple freaking weeks, and dude. boy, he Man. was steaming about the parking situation. He's like, dude, there's no parking. He came in there's hot. There's no parking, dude. Dude, I hate and We no can't parking. record at this time anymore. That's oh, what yeah, he said. Yeah, yeah. He's like, dude, we can't, we can't record at this time anymore. It was hot. Yeah. And I was not ready because Stevie was throwing me that good, good energy. Did I have good energy? Yeah, you did. You know what? I was here. Two minutes early. Two minutes early. Yeah, man. And I appreciate you. And I was patiently sitting outside of the gate. Didn't even hit you up. I said, you know, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? He just had a kid. He just had a kid. I'll just you know give what? him some time. I owe him this one. <laughs> He deserves this week. I owe him this he one. He deserves this week. Ryan, though. Yeah. He didn't feel that way coming in. Yeah, I got yeah. two minutes early, too. He don't, he don't care. You did? Yeah, and I was Because I texted parking. you. He don't care about you. the good energy coming I said, in. Are, are you around? And you didn't text me back. Were you stressed out about the parking? Were you driving around? Yeah, absolutely. I was just like rage driving. And you seconds. were sweating a little bit, weren't you? Yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, let's. what are you doing? <laughs> Do you think about him? I want to talk, man. It's a podcast. I want to talk. You won't let me yeah. cook, man. No, no, no. You can cook. You I'm won't just let saying, me cook. There's something different about you is the thing. What do you mean there's something different about me? I don't know. I just haven't really. Oh, you had a kid is what it is. No, there's something else. Oh. I don't know. 
Hmm. We'll get back to it. What do you something got? Something about my energy? No, something. Some dad energy. Something about your look, but I haven't really figured it out yet. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what I'm you have beard out. Uh, down there by your foot, too, as well. Because What's by my foot? Oh, yeah. you want to open some packages? I kind of do, because... This one comes from our buddy, Joel Stokes oh. in Las Vegas. We love Joel. Make sure you just hide his address. I did. Perfect. We love... Oh! This is PO Unboxing. If you want to send oh, something to Scissor Bros. Look at this beauty. You can. The Robert Stokes Band. Oh, yeah. That's his brother. Check Heck that yeah. out today, folks. The Heck Robert yeah. Stokes Band. Yeah. And it's in. I think this is my size. The Robert Stokes Band. Check it out today. And... Heck yeah. Ooh. Can I read you the um, letter, please? Yeah. Okay. I, I would love to that. show you the. If you want to send uh, some to the Scissor Bros. P.O. Box, you can do that at uh, P.O. Box number 78375, Los Angeles, California, 90016. And then make sure you address it to Jeremiah Watkins slash SB because your frugal bro doesn't purchase the one for a business. He does it for an individual. Of course. So it has to be Jeremiah Watkins You're saving slash 40 SB. Bucks, aren't you? Oh, 150 for <laughs> oh us a year. Oh, my God. Hey, Gerald, look. He did art of you again, Ooh. Gerald. What do you think? Wow. It's so nice to be seen and heard on this podcast. Look. No, I see it. That's a nice girthy neck. Wow, that's the happiest I've seen Gerald yeah, in a long time. He's not getting hit this week. Uh, hi, guys. Just wanted to give you some shirts of my brother's bands. Sorry, uh, default Valentine shirts, only mediums left. He plays ska reggae. I think our scissor si siblings should check out his stuff. His main social media is at SKA Stokes on Instagram. Ska Th Stokes. Ska Stokes. Thanks for sharing my art. And letting me make merch. You guys have really changed my life, and I'm forever grateful. We love you, Joel. We love you, Joel. But let me, uh, I don't, I didn't mean to stir the pot. I recently saw him take a picture with uh, Andrew Santino and my brother Bob. Well, he's, so is he switching team? What's he, going on with him, Joel? He, well, is he playing for you, all teams? Oh, or you, 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 gotta, you, you gotta choose one team, Joel. You don't know? What do you mean I don't know? He he makes merch for them too. Let me just drop this on down there then. <laughs> he makes he makes merch for bad friends. There. Is there anything else in there? Yeah, just another one of these shirts. Oh. We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> Could I have it? We love you, Joe, but what are you doing there, buddy? When did you find this he, out? He, he make he he'll make uh he'll make merch for them too. Did Got he hands. make that Abbey Road one? Yeah. No, oh, that one's great. Yeah. It's really solid. Um I love Joel, but how many shows they got left left? I think they're almost done with their tour. Yeah. We'll put these on. They just did San Diego. I know, I know they did. People have been hitting me up about well, it. One thing, I have nothing to do with like, I can't get tickets or I don't know anything about it. You people know? have been asking you for yeah, tickets? Yeah, like, hey, uh -oh. can you tell your brother I have artwork um, in the th the third row I wanted to give him? And it's like, dude, I don't know. I didn't even know they had a show in San Diego. But, you know, they are killing the game. See, dude, Joel, is this love or what, brother? There you go. There you go. And it's getting Heck warm in here too, and they're putting he, on two shirts. Yeah, so I you know, know that, that's the, that showing you, know you Joel love. how much love we have for you and your brother. Um, so you don't want to talk about like, I mean, what are your thoughts about Joel kind of double dipping here? Well, I'm okay with it because he's an artist, and you know, I want him to spread his wings. But one thing that did bother me, that did happen. And I have to find out if this is true. Go this, ahead. Go ahead, dude. Go cause, ahead. Cause, Speak your truth, brother. We, okay. One of our scissor siblings informed us that at the meet and greet of the Bad Friends Tour, and this is us, like, I'm not, like, honestly, I've been trying to avoid talking about Bad Friends, honestly, because I want us to be separate from them and us to do our own thing, and, and our podcast is actually very different from, from theirs. Uh, but obviously we're going to continually, you know, be associated forever. 
Um, I, we were just trying to be our own entity, our own selves. But then something really, really just was grinding my gears when I read this story on Instagram. Somebody tagged us. Let's talk about it. Go ahead, bro. At the meet and greet, one of our scissor siblings, to surprise your brother and Santino. What'd they do, bro? They unzipped their hoodie and they were wearing a scissor bro shirt. What, in the merch line? <laughs> in the merch line. I love it. For the signing and photographs for your brother and Santino. They said the only way they would sign the scissor bro shirt is if they got to spit on it first. Oh, wow. <laughs> And then, oh, okay. Our scissor sibling let them spit on our logo, and then Ooh. they got a, a bad friend signature on the scissor bro shirt. Ooh, that now that's not love there. That's some. Ooh, the anger's brewing, brother. That's some Ooh. ill will right there. Did you see that on the Instagram, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Ryan, you a, didn't see that? A pretty limited You're edition shirt. You're supposed to pay attention now. to this stuff, Ryan. Oh, I know. It says bad friends on it, too. Yeah. It did? So yeah, they signed it bad friends. They did, didn't they? I think yeah. That's a pretty, and it has Santino and Lee spit on it. So, you know, it's worth even more now. Yeah, you got to frame that. You got to put that up in the rafters yeah, of so, your place. I don't know. I think as Frugal Bros, we came out ahead on that one. In what ways? Because now our scissor sibling has a more valuable shirt. That's a limited edition item. You think so? Yep. Bad friend mm. signed on a Scissor Bros shirt. Mm. That is the ultimate nerd crossover in the podcasting universe. Yep. How does that make you feel? What? That, the, whatever you just explained, that story. I would never spit on a bad friend shirt. I wouldn't either. I got respect. That's the thing. We have respect for. For yeah. them. Yeah, It's yeah. not reciprocated. No, no, we get no respect. Rodney Dangerfield, if you're out there, baby. <laughs> Rodney, we don't get no respect. But Bob did take you out for something special recently, didn't he? Yeah. we. I, I hadn't seen him in a while. He and he's like, dude, you want to go get something to eat? And I just wanted, you know, you know me, I wanted, are you okay? Yeah, I think I've got an ingrown pubic hair. Oh, great. Let me check it out. After, after. Um... <laughs> No, come over here. Take a look. Yeah. Do you think that's ingrown? Right? Wait, move your hand. That's ingrown, right? Ah, that's nothing. Does it sting? Yeah. It looks like a bee sting. Yeah, did you shave recently down there? Be honest. Oh. Did you shave recently with the... Ah, I just popped it. You did? Yeah. It was an ingrown. It was ingrown, yeah. Yeah, I sh yeah, I did clean up down there, and I think that one of the, you know, yeah, um, he yeah. So Bob, he was like, "You want to get something to eat?" And then I was, I just want a slice of pizza, just something simple. When you was know? this? Oh, it was like three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Oh something. yeah, we haven't seen each other for yeah. a bit. And so I just want to go go to Vito's, go get some pizza. But he goes, "I got some." You like Vito's? Yeah, hell yeah, I love Vito's, dude. I know Charlie, one of the owners over there. What's up, dude? I love Vito's. I got to introduce you to yeah, Charlie. Yeah, dude. We got to get a pizza party. He made me a baked potato pizza. It's not even on the menu for one of my birthdays we should one do year. A, we should do a Vito's night where we get Jordan in here, and then we'll get all of us, and we'll get pizza. Yeah? Yeah. Shout out to Jordan. Heck yeah. Um, So, he brought me to... He brought me to... He's like, dude, I got something special. He, I'm like, what? Dude, I just want a pizza. He goes, nah, dude. You'll just wait. So, we roll up. I think it was near Fairfax... Nobu, it was like a fancy, Nobu, fancy yeah. suit. Have you heard of that, Ryan? Yeah, Nobu. They yeah, no, no, I talked to my girl, and she goes, "Oh my God, Drake goes there." I go, "Drake goes." She there? knew that. Yeah, wow. I guess it's a popular. I've heard of it, but I didn't know that. Like, did I didn't was, know that was like a spot it, like it's that. Pretty fancy, dude. But you know, it's one of those places where, um, the portions are. Tiny, you know, it's like Dude, gourmet, but it's like anywhere that's really yeah, expensive, man. the portions are freaking tiny. Yeah, so what they, is the it deal was with good. that? Like they they had they brought these two tacos with like this wasabi stuff and this Kobe beef or whatever, but it was the tacos were like this big, so it was delicious. But I'm like, well, did I you feel eat hungry? Twenty more of those. Yeah, yeah, but it was just a. Uh, did you ask them if they had any Chips Ahoy Reese's Pieces cookies on the menu? No, but they did. No, but they did have a great, um, like a uh, a dessert with, you know, it's like an ice cone thing, like shaved ice with like strawberry cream stuff that you pour over it. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. So, 
if we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, should we go to Nobu? We're more like Hollywood sushi, rock and sushi kind of guys. Yeah, unlimited. Unlimited, where I want to get full. I don't want to, you know Did what I'm you saying? leave full? No. Oh. It was one of those things where we we finished eating. I'm like, okay, when I was thinking when the main course was coming out. And that was it. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, no boo. I mean, I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. I'm sure a lot of like people you know in your I circle. Think I've heard of it, but yeah, I didn't know that it was like a. Yeah, it was just like one that of those, kind of thing. Yeah. Dude, but check it out. I don't know if Bob, if this made him irritated, but when I was leaving, one of the waiters pulled me aside and he goes, Caesar Bros. <laughs> A guy no boo. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, and Bob was standing there and he was like <laughs> I shook his hand, I go, Thanks for man, thanks for tuning in, man. You know, wow. I really appreciate it, bro. You know, cause out of all places, like, I'm like thinking, this guy works at No Boo. It's so freaking hot in here. Do you feel it, right? Yep, it is. But, what, were you gonna, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, uh, I wanna give a shout out to our scissor sibling Joel that I met at the AMC at the Grove, I took my son to see the new Spider-Man movie. Was that good? Into the Spider-Verse. Fantastic. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah, I liked it. Okay. I liked it. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it's really good. And then tell me about that story. Well, he he said when I was like handing, like showing my phone for the tickets, Mm -hmm. he's like, hey man, love the podcast. And then I, I came back out after mm-hmm. and he gave me a poster for the Spider-Man animated mm-hmm, movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, yeah, I love Scissor Bros. And That's great. Yeah, it was cool. I just thought of another talking point that I didn't like, you know, because, you, you know, I want to think about, ma- there was a major thing that I went to. I went to my, uh, uh, a book signing at Barnes and Nobles at the Grove. You brought up the Grove and it triggered a memory. Oh, Barnes and Noble. Yeah, well, it was uh, Dante Ross and Be Real from Cypress Hill. It was... Because Dante just released a book called Son of the City. And Dante is an old, like, A&R dude, like, older that, like, discovered, like, all the hip-hop dudes from New York, like, KMD and Del the Funko Homo Sapien, Leaders of the New School, like, Cyper- uh, uh, Beastie Boys. So, dude, I was, like, nerding out, dude. Like, I bought the ticket. I went by myself. It was the first ticket that I bought, and I actually went, and I got my book signed by him. But um, I think people c- kind of got annoyed by me. Why? Because when they're introducing them to, you know, to come out, people broke out their phones, you know, just at the beginning. But I kept my phone up like this for like 14 minutes straight. I got the most vlog footage of anybody there. Like, (laughs) you won, dude. Yeah, I was just like, and people were like, just looking at me. And I did you did you make it a vlog later? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to edit it. Yeah, I'm going to edit. Yeah, I, I have the footage in my fo- on my so phone. So it was recent. Yeah, yeah, wow. it was recent. Um, but then uh, there's a, si- a scissor sibling there too. Nice. And so I got him in the vlog. I go, hey, man, are you here for Dante? Yeah, you know, he's like, yeah. And then we, we put up the books, like, you know, Son of the City. And he goes, and I go, you're scissor, you're scissor bros fan, huh? He goes, oh, yeah. I go, um, what's your favorite, like, episode or challenge that we've done? And you know what he said? He goes, I got to be honest with you. I, I don't remember. And I go, okay. And then, because I'm still vlogging it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still vlogging you it. You put him on the spot. I put him on the spot. But then I go like this. Oh, so you're here for Dante, right? He goes, yeah. I go, um, what are some of the your favorite artists that he's worked with? And then he did it again. He goes, I got to be honest with you. I don't really know. Hey, man, you got to... You- you got to know the average person who is put on something impromptu like that is not going to have a like a strong answer. Yeah. The average person that you talk to, it's a, it's it's well, a no, skill yeah. set to be able to quickly like be put on the spot and have like a response and stuff like that. Really? Dude, yeah. yeah. You're used to it because you podcast and stuff all the time. So you can come up with, oh, well, I like this and all that, blah, blah, because you're used to having conversations with people of all walks of life. But these are very straightforward. I understand what you're saying, but these are very straight, straightforward people, questions. People get you know? flustered. Yeah. What's his name? Billy Eichner used to do that as a bit. He would go on the street and just ask people, like, name a woman, and they couldn't do it. Yeah. 
because so the way get, he approached it was so like like frantic yeah. that people get uh uh oh and i kind of did put him on this because i'm like hey you want to be my vlog <laughs> right, yeah, right right yeah yeah but anyway, yeah, I mean, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, they, it was nostalgic. They talked a lot about, like, Cypress Hill history, Beastie Boys. The guy in front of me was a full-on Cypress Head, like, Hill um, fan. He had the House of Pain uh, Cypress Hill fusion basketball jersey mm. with, like, the skull. And then he had, like, tattoos everywhere. And, um, yeah, I had a good time. It felt good, you know. And he actually signed my book because I waited in line at the end. And uh, I didn't write Stevie Weeby or my, my whatever, my my real name. I put Kwang Wu. Mm -hmm. And he complimented my name. He's like, cool name, my guy. But he spelled it with two O's at the end, like goo, like with a G-O-O. -O. But that's fine. That's fine. The main thing, I know. I know. But that's, he meant he meant well. Like That's like, 1K short of a slur. Yeah. Yeah, but it's fine. He meant well, so okay. Get, uh, get that book today, uh, Dante Ross, uh, Sons of the uh, Son of the City. I had my first wet dream in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I like how it goes from book signing to wet dream. Go ahead. Do you have, did you ever see the movie? Um... Dude, watch it. You're tread tread carefully here. I know. You already know my okay. movie palette. Okay. You've seen The Devil's Advocate, right? Hell yeah. Okay. I love Keanu. Keep dude. that keep that in mind. Al Pacino, baby. Okay, keep that in mind. Now, have you ever seen I think it's called The Seventh Gate with Johnny Depp? It's an old I know the movie poster. I haven't seen it though. Okay. Okay. Keep those movies in mind. That's all you need to know. Um, I don't know how it got to this point in the dream, but I just remember like the climax of the dream. <laughs> Oh no! This is gonna be this. Uh, are you a fan of Dio? Dio's an old like hard rock metal yeah. group from like the eighties or nineties. Okay, 90s. so there's a song called "Rainbow in the Dark." When there's lightning, na -na -na -na, oh, you no. know it always brings me down. Oh damn! Yeah, and then like like it goes like like a rainbow in the dark. Okay, so that song is playing. That's the soundtrack of the wet dream. I didn't know you like hard hard met like hard sometimes. Rock. Okay, yeah. So I have a, a, okay, yeah, yeah. a somewhat of an eclectic. Yeah, because that's like deal. I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah. Um. So that's the soundtrack of the, the wet dream. Mm -hmm. I'm having sex with some lady. Was it your wife? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. You don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I told you not to judge me. I'm not, it was a wet I dream. I didn't you judge looked you. at me. You looked at me. No, Steve. I was trying to look at Ryan's No, uh, Steve, you looked at me and then you looked over at Ryan like, I can't believe you cheat on his wife in his dream. You have no control. It's a dream. Sometimes you have no control. Continue. You're only human. It was either my wife or another hot blonde woman. I'll just say that. Oh, really? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Were you? Okay, go ahead. Was I what? I was you just want to know what position. Like, were you? I was on top. Of course you were. Okay. And I was really, you know, doing the thing. But the, what what made this dream extra weird mm -hmm. is in the corner of the room, there were a couple demons. <laughs> <laughs> and one had satanic horns and they were dancing to Rainbow in the Dark. Dude, that is so scary. While dude. I was coming. Were they hot? I think one had boobs. Dude, that is horrific. Dude, I, I don't I didn't know what was going That's on. That's a nightmare, bro. Dude, That's not a wet dream. That is a dude, horrific nightmare. It was a nightmare. wet night terror. Were you scared? A li I was a little bit like, I woke up, I was like, why did I come to that? How do you even bust a nut? <laughs> How do you bust a nut with demons in the corner? I don't know. Were they gargoyles? No, no, they were just like red. And, and, like, that, and they were dancing to Rainbow in the Dark? Rainbow in the Dark. That is so scary. Dude, it was so Dude, weird. That, that's not weird. That's scary, bro. Yeah, I don't know. So did you wake, Did you? were you all wet when you woke up? Yeah. And sticky? Yeah. Damn. It went through my boxers and my shorts because I haven't had sex in a while. All right, Joel Stokes, Rainbow in the Dark, T-shirt <laughs> no, no, on you, no. brother. We no, no, draw no, the demons no, no, in no. the corner of the room, no, no, brother. No. We got you, but brother. But it was like the, the in the Seventh Gate. There's this scene where Johnny Depp is having sex with, with the woman. Demon? She's essentially the devil, and like she, he's on top of of her, and then she, she's on top of him. And you don't then, have to do like the it, gestures. <laughs> I, you don't have to do that. 
I get it, dude. You yeah, know, yeah, because you're doing this. Yeah, don't do I'm that doing the thing. Yeah, don't do that. Well, I can't do the don't thing. Don't go lower. Okay, just say it. So I was on top, and I was just saying, like in the Johnny Depp movie, he then looks up at her and he realizes he's having sex with, with the devil. Oh my god, dude! It was a weird dream, and I don't know why I went to full completion. They show that that's in a movie scene. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. And so why'd you bring up Devil's Advocate? Does, how does that play into this as well? Because it's still like, it was like in that realm of if you haven't seen The Seventh Gate, then it's still you like Devil's Advocate where yeah. he's like this, he's like, he's like, he's like, he says that th he's oh, like. Oh, because Keanu had a sister with this his, is, this his is sister. Your, this is your sister. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, to form the Antichrist. Touch, but don't eat. Yes. Yes. Is that kind of it? Look, but don't touch. Yes. Wow. It was that like, it was weird, man. How much nut did you squirt out? I told you it went through my boxer and my shorts. <laughs> Dude, that's so disgusting. You asked me and I'm being honest and I told you not to judge me. <laughs> Ryan, do you have any questions on the um email? I mean, let's can we switch it? Or uh, questions like about that. the dream. I don't want I don't want to talk about the <laughs> no, dream. No, no, I want Ryan to ask me an honest question about the dream. Uh so no I mean more specifically like the demons in the corner I asked if you, they are hot and you said one of them maybe had boobs that doesn't answer the question I think one was Yeah nice Did was... they what did their eyes look like were they all black Oh yeah bad teeth though. Oh my bad. god were they like like vampire fangs <sighs> and the, but full on like Beelzebub horns it was scary oh, scary I know What can I can I try to um depict their movements Yeah Okay, do, do the do the do the dance. No, no, do the dancer and the, you sing the song and I'm the demon. When there's lightning, <laughs> you know it always brings me down, 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 down. like a rainbow in the dark. Damn, like a rainbow in the dark, like a rainbow in the dark. Sorry. Yeah, that was cathartic. Yeah. <laughs> Like a rainbow in the dark. He said there were sexy dancing, Steve. Okay, do it again. When there's lightning, <laughs> you know it always brings me to hound. Like a rainbow in the dark. Like a rainbow in the dark. I loved it. Yeah. All right. Oh no, this is oh this is when the day goes good. This is from our buddy. This is when the day goes good. The master of beef jerky seasoning. I already got mine out because this is from uh, this point a couple weeks ago. Can I give it give a little love to Eric Tweak Sasso because he sent me some beef jerky too, mm -hmm. and they were prepackaged and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't want to compare the two. It was good though. Yeah, I ate your portion, so you could you could keep one the one that I because I. Man, when I wow, eat beef jerky, I go all in, brother. You're gonna feel, I go hungry mungry. You're going to feel extra bad because I gave you an extra package because I know how much you like beef jerky. Keep that package. You deserve it. How about we give that to one to Ryan? Yeah, Ryan, you keep Ryan, it. Ryan, are Ryan. you a beef jerky guy? I am. Throw, throw Ryan one. Sorry, we'll guys. We'll give you the freaking That's big one. so much. Ready? Yeah. 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 Heck yeah. Thanks, brother. And there's a, there's a letter I want you to read in there from our pal Cuzzo. Mm -hmm. Also, I do want to say I I um I put out a, a little thing on, on social media because I was so overwhelmed with just trying to get meals going and stuff like that. And uh, some of our scissor siblings sent me like some some like DoorDash or or like Uber like gift certificates or or like Venmo to help like with ordering food. And I really do appreciate that. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart from me and my wife and the babies because like. I'm. A, I should know how to cook. I know I'm a grown man by you now. You could do it, man. But I. But I. Um. I kind of. Um. You know. Anyway, thank you. I just want to say thank you for 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 sending stuff. It was very nice. Okay, this is uh from our good pal Cuzzo. You know what it is? Exclamation point. Heard that you guys ran out, so hopefully this lasts you for a while, maybe even a whole weekend for Steve. You'll have to split the. Long bag because I ran out of smaller ones. I didn't have enough for three of every flavor. So please make sure Ryan gets some. Good fart. It seemed like you guys really liked the last scorpion flavor. I loved it. 
Uh, so I try to recreate that one, added scorpion flavor to the scissor sauce recipe, plus some new flavors. Mm. Steve, I've been jamming that she gone, uh, she gone album a bunch of since you sent it. I think my skateboard is my favorite track. Also, there's an extra surprise at the bottom of the box for you. Found it at a Goodwill and had to get it. Hope hope it's your size. Jeremiah, sorry I couldn't hand this to you in person again. But holler at your boy next time you're touring the Midwest. Kicking it in Chicago was a blast. Enjoy the snacks. I freaking love you guys. Cuzzo. Heck we lo- yeah. We love you, Cuzzo. Shout out to Cuzzo, Tweak mm-hmm. Sauce, our Scissor siblings. Scissor fam out there. We love y'all. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I already had some of the jerky. It's amazing. Oh, dude, this is my It's dinner. amazing. This is my dinner tonight. Oh, thank you, Cuzzo. And I'm sorry about the um, what I did with the other beef jerky. That's okay. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any questions that we have, Ryan? Oh, we do have a fan art, though, that I want you guys to take oh. a look at. Oh. While he's sending that, yeah. how about we fire off some scissors real quick? Yeah, we haven't done that We in haven't a while. done that. Yeah, I mean, and, and, maybe it'll cool, we could cool off. <laughs> Are you it's, starting it's to get off? It's getting a little steamy in here. Well, we might have to take off one of the shirts. You think so? <laughs> I'm going to keep mine. We'll leave I'm going to rep it. I'm Out of solidarity it. Okay. the rest of the episode. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20 21 yeah, and 22. 22. The two is for June 2nd, yeah. the birth of my son. What 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 horoscope is that? Do you know? Mm, I forget. I don't follow that stuff. You don't? No. I do. I, I'm just curious. June 2nd. I think he's a Gemini. Is that right? I don't know. Second. Or is he a Libra? I forget what he is. It was one of those, I thought. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Okay. All right. So this art comes from Scott. His tag is at asterisk pound. <coughs> <laughs> All this is amazing. Look at it, Steve. Oh, my goodness. I just read the caption. This is incredible. This is really good. The Masturbation Sensei. Dude, that's really good. Dude, is this wow. a painting? That's amazing. What is this? Uh, this looks like we'll put. Pen. We'll show it on screen. Okay, that's amazing. We'll show it on screen. It actually kind of looks like ballpoint and then some digital coloring. Dude, board. it's incredible. Dude, that is amazing. Wowzers. Wowzers it is. Yeah. That's amazing. I just love the the colors that he used. Uh, he's he stayed true to the original Karate Kid, uh, you know, the headband. Um, very very good. Wow. You know what's great too? You, like just our faces too. That that really looks like us. I know. Right. There's something different about you. I haven't really. I figured it out. Your hair. Oh. Your hair looks different, man. Oh, thanks. You right, like right? Yeah, you like it? I love it. Yeah, it's good. Thanks. How'd you spike it like that? Like a pomade. <laughs> yeah. Um, It's my week to choose a challenge. Wait, hold up, man. You're going to lay it on me right now? I was thinking about it. All right, let's get it over with. Hey, let's not go into the challenges with that attitude. We can't. All right, all right. I know that it's it's not going to be pleasant. Why? I just know it's just when it when it's my week when you guys kind of collaborate on something. It's just not going to be. It's Dude, not going to be pleasant. I threw up on the last time that you picked the People challenge. People love the honey nut Cheerios, my friend. Oh yeah, that's yeah. one of our. That was a. That was we hit that out the ballpark. Yeah, that was a good one. All right, let's hear it. People like the glory hole one too. Okay, that was fun. That was yeah. fun. Okay. Get ready for something that has plagued man for a while. Oh, Jim Gaffigan has a bit about this, about how 
volcanic the inside of these things can get. What? Welcome to the Hot Pocket Challenge. The first one to finish a scolding hot Hot Pocket. What do you mean, like temperature-wise? Pepperoni and cheese. It'll taste good, but it's going to be very hot to try to eat. The first one to finish it wins. The loser... Tell him, Ryan. <laughs> the loser... Are you familiar with cattle brands? No, dude. Oh, okay. So cattle brand is something that... It's like it's like an iron poker with a shape on the end that you put in a fire. And then you brand a cow so that people know it's yours. Well, we're doing that with the super hot Hot Pocket. You're getting branded. I'm not getting branded. With the, It's not actually going to brand you. Or maybe it will. With a Hot Pocket. Where? You get to choose. You get to choose. Well, you guys got the heat for that? Is it going to scar you? For, is it like a tattoo? Like, what's going on? It's a microwave. That's how you're supposed to make them. Yeah, we're going to microwave. microwave them. And you're going to brand me with a Hot Pocket? Or are you? If somebody's going to get branded with a Hot Pocket. Was well, that safe? Like, on the skin? It will... Somebody's going to get burned. Someone's going to get burned. With a Hot Pocket. With a hot pocket. Is it safe to burn the skin like that with the hot pocket? <laughs> How do you want me to respond to that? Uh, all right, let's do the hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take much talking. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Okay, you ready? I've been in yeah. the microwave for five minutes. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Are really going through that surprisingly. Oh, <coughs> oh, hot! Yeah, that's that's the point. Frick! <laughs> okay. Oh, oh! A little bit fell in the bowl. You gotta eat that too. Oh, I'm burning. Jeremiah's about halfway. Wow. You guys are going way faster than I thought you would. I mean, to be honest. It's so hot though. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. You guys aren't going to be able to taste for a few days. It's like really dry. Ryan, you want to card? Yep. Jeremiah's about 25% left. Steve is... Oh, he's powering through. He's at about 40. Two different techniques, though, here. Steve's just, just keeping his mouth closed where Jeremiah's aerating, and I think Jeremiah might be having the better strategy here. There you go. You're getting it. Jeremiah's close. Jo oh. Careful, Jeremiah. This is oh, starting out. Oh, there oh, it is. Yep. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. How you feeling, Steve? You got it? Oh, now you're getting to the really hot part. <coughs> he got me. Was it the last bite? He got me. Let's take a look. Good job. He's got to swallow it. Who's this, man? He's Jeremiah's struggling through it. Let's see. Yeah. You got to get it down, Jer. Uh, <sighs> he's throwing in the towel, Steve. Oh, he's got another big bite in there. He got it. Don't give up. That's one bite right there, Steve. That's one bite. More one. Not if you believe. All the crumbs are coming out of the bowl. Jeremiah's in his last lap. Let's see it. That's clear. Jeremiah wins. Steve has about 
maybe 25-30% left. You guys made it way further than I thought. These are really good. <laughs> Steve's just... <laughs> oh, I get you're to sorry. eat. <laughs> now you're just going to eat it. I definitely burned my tongue. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not able to taste for... I definitely burned my tongue. Yep. You know that scratchy feeling? Yep. You can... All right, what's the punishment? You guys got a couple days of not being able to taste. Looks like Steve's getting a Hot Pocket brand. I like that. You like it? Mm-hmm. It was good. worth it. Yeah, you're going to get a Hot Pocket brand. Where do you want it? Where do you want to put it? <laughs> Don't tell me. We already know what you're going to say, Steve. Where do you want me to put it? Right here. Yeah? Right here. Yeah? yeah? That's a surprising choice. I'm actually that. very surprised. Yeah, I yeah. thought you were going to say your butt. Nah, we've been there, done that. It's right here. Okay, it's time for the Hot Pocket branding. You ready, brother? Yeah. Don't break. Why are you breaking it? What do you mean? Why are you breaking it? Because I, I, that's how... Dude, the... you're not getting melted cheese on my arm, bro. That's literally the branding. Dude. Here we go, you ready? One, two, and... Ah! No! <laughs> you want another? Yeah, go ahead! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Alright, right! Okay! Dude, you handled yeah. that like yeah. a freaking... Yeah. You handled that like yeah, a Yeah, baby! Dude. Dude, yeah. can we do a hot pocket dance? Yeah. Now? <laughs> Welcome to the hot pocket dance, bag, ladies and gentlemen. You want here? Yeah. Have it, man. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Here we go, man. Are you dancing a whole lot? Do it. Right. Do it. Come on, man. Dude, you handled that like a Do it. Do it. Yeah! Yeah, baby. Patreon.com slash season, bro. Patreon.com For that exclusive oh. episode. Oh. Yeah, every week. Yeah. Every week we do a new episode <sighs> that's different from this episode. <sighs> and this was what Kazo was talking about. Oh. Here, sh- here, look at it and then show it off the camera. Oh, Weeby Audio Video. And guess what? It's a medium, dude. It's your size. Oh my god, this it, is amazing. Isn't that cool? Put on another shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yeah. man. Come on. You guys dancing at home along with us? Come on. Come on. Get that good good on Patreon. And also look out for Steve's album. He's about 70% yeah. complete, yeah, right? Yeah, thank you. It's called Puer Eternos. Ask me what that means. What does that mean? It's a Peter, it's a Peter Pan syndrome, man child. Is it really? Yeah. Isn't that a good title? Yeah. Look out for the Puerto Eternos, baby. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming, baby. Here we go, baby. <laughs> I want to keep going. Okay. I keep going. Yeah, yeah baby. This dance break is yeah. killing it, baby. That's how we do it. Come on, man. Yeah. Scissor Bros, baby. What? What? Another shirt? Yeah. You got another one? Yeah. What you put it on? What'd you put it on? Oh. Defiant Valentine. Oh, default Valentine. Put it on, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking good, yeah. brother. <laughs> if this isn't putting you in a good mood, we don't know what is going yeah, to. Yeah, baby. Subscribe today, baby. Come on, we gotta get yeah. the subscribers up, baby. And thanks for everybody who watched the last riff, man. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah, man. Subscribe to Jeremiah Wonders, Jeremiah Watkins today. You know, subscribe to my it's brother Kwame. Stevie Weeby show. show. We can use the views over there too, guys. <laughs> Please help us out. Now, come on, yeah. huh? Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. We'll see you on uh. Patreon. Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal Gerald and... Wow. Back to the old school. Just kicking it in the garage with my scissor bros. No guests? I kind of enjoyed it. I like having guests too though. 
But I definitely like not getting hit in the fucking neck. That's real, real troublesome. Instead, I got art today. It was really nice. And then after they left, I used the, the, the hot pocket as a flashlight. It was nice. Things are good for me. Things are going well. Um, hope you guys are well. Anywho, check out new episodes of the Stevie Weeby Show every week on his channel. And hope you guys have an amazing week. Love you guys. Bye. But later on, Stevie will poop. And you're invited to land on the first scoop.